Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm gonna be working on my storage server down here that's the one with 48 external hard drives in a dash um, so they're kind of external from the server but they're on the server so we could just go down and see that it's down here that's that's the one uh, there is 24 drives the top 24 drives are all 2 terabytes and the bottom 24 drives are all 600 gigabyte SAS drives. I want to configure this up in Windows 2016 which I did install in a previous video and it's running right here behind me. So uh, let's go closer to the computer and set this up. So here we have the server and uh, we could just get the specs of it this computer right click and properties and we'll see that this is um, it has two Intel Xeon E5 2670s and these are 2.6 gigahertz there are two of these processors and each of those are eight cores and we have 128 gigs of RAM and a 64 and a 64 bit operating system um, I have not activated Windows yet. Um, I am still, I am just using this as a trial version. So let's minimize that and open up Server Manager here. And in Server Manager, there is this file and storage services. I want to install this storage pools on this storage spaces or what it's, it's called. So if we go down here. There is nothing. There is something here. I am told that that's not important. But it sees all my drives down here. And those are usable to, to set up. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make two storage pools. One with all the 600 gigabyte SAS drives. And one with the 2 terabyte SATA drives. The 2 terabyte SATA drive shows up as a SAS drive because the hard drives it has a little circuit board on the back of the hard drive that kind of converts from SATA to SAS or emulates that at least. Let's, um, let's start a new one. Let's go up here in tasks, up here and start a new storage pool. There. Before you begin, blah 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 blah. Um, next, we get to give it a name. So let's start with all the 600 gigabyte drives so we will call this we'll call it pool one or we could put that in description i think we'll do that and just put that information in the description instead and maybe add that this is 24 600 gigabyte sas okay next then we get to pick all the drives and luckily it has sorted them now. It looks like that all the two terabytes are first. So when we get further down, we get into the 600 gigabytes. So I'll pick all of those and there should be 24 of those. So I better count them. So I'll just count them and make sure that there is 24 drives. Okay, I have counted them. There are 24 drives. So we will next on that one and we get a um, summary page that we have added all these physical drives. That's going to give us a total of 13.1 terabyte of storage space and the storage pool is located on my server and there is no clustering and this is a storage subsystem window storage okay whatever create so it's uh, creating that shouldn't take that long it's done close so we have made that up here it's a storage pool it's on my server and here is the space available to us wonder if my description is anywhere uh, didn't make that so we'll make another one 
for the two terabyte drives. So new storage pool. And we will next, and then we'll call that pool two. I want to have the text exactly the same. Okay, so that's good, and that's 24 two terabyte. And they're really SATA drives, so I'm going to put that in. There. And, next. and then I'll pick all the 2 terabyte drives and put in that one. There, that should be all of them. Just going to check. That's the internal. There is a couple of hard drives in the server itself. Don't want to pick that. Uh, uh, okay, the operating system drive is not being shown at all. That's a good thing. So I'll just quickly count that there is 24 drives before we continue. There are 24 drives here, so that's all good. Next. And we get a summary. We get 43.7 terabytes. So we'll create that. And that's created. We can close. Now we have we have two pools up here. And on those pools we can cr now create virtual drives. So what you do, you take your physical drives, you create storage pools, and from those pools you can create drives. So it's kind of a virtualization layer between the physical and the, the drive, you have a pool of which you create virtual drives out of. And this gives us a few advantages. So now we will create one of these virtual disks. And we can we can click here this blue text. We can actually just we can do it from there, new virtual disk, or we can do it from here, start new virtual disk visor. And I do believe it does exactly the same thing. So first we pick which pool of disk we are taking from. So let's start with the 600 gigabyte drives, the one the 13.1 terabyte and create a disk out of that. We are presented with this wizard um, that will help us along the way. Next, so we can give this a name. Uh, what should we call this? We'll, let's make a 10 terabyte SAS disk and this one will be RAID 0. We will be picking that in just a second. So next. Okay, here we can we can create something called enclosure awareness. So right now it it sees that we are on external something, and with JOB it will help us to make uh, fault tolerances. So if we lose a whole system, it can help us on that. But well, we will not enable this. It it can keep data safe between the different disk enclosures that we might be using so I, I'm actually doing this myself right now but apparently it would be able to help me with that so next here we can select a simple drive that's RAID 0 a mirror that's RAID 1 and partition that's RAID 5, 6 ish I'm not sure if it's 5 or 6 or how it does that but we will try and make this 10 terabyte simple drive and next here we can select fixed provisioning or thin provisioning and this is just like VMware so as we're making 10 terabytes we will be picking the thin provisioning here probably the fixed provisioning is, is is a little bit faster in the beginning because if we copy data to the disk it will have to be adding on slices of disk all the time but when the data is there I'm sure it's just as fast or I hope so so let's uh, thin create that specify size now we want the old tin 10 and terabytes there next so now we are creating that create and that will take just a little bit. 10 terabytes. There. Cool. Close. Before you begin, this whistle will help you. Okay, so we have created the disk, but we haven't created a volume on it. So that's uh, what this next wizard will help us with. Creating a volume on our disk. So we'll just go next. Pick this disk 50. 
which is our 10 terabyte. We can select next on that. Do we want to use all our space on that? Hmm, sure. Just use max. Drive letter, probably okay. Next, NTFS or REFS. And REFS is the new awesome stuff. So we'll we'll pick that one. Just pick default on, on the size here. And we'll call this 10 dds or zero. Next, and create. So that will take just a little bit. Okay, cool, close. So now we could create one more, and I would actually like to try that. So we'll create one more, new virtual disk. We will pick the same pool of drives again, once more, and we'll go next on that. And this time we'll call it 10 terabyte. What did I call it last time? And this time we'll rate one. Rate one. And next. And next. And mirror, yes. And here we can pick if we want to make a two way mirror or a three way mirror. Um, how safe do our data have to be? This is pretty awesome actually. It, it can make sure to have two copies of your data or three copies of your data. And I think we'll keep this with two copies. Thank you very much. Next. And we'll keep this thin provisioning again because we don't have 10 terabytes of data twice on that drive. So we will pick 10 and we will again pick terabytes. And next. Summary. Create. Close that. And we again have to create a volume. Pick that one. Next. Ten terabytes. Next. And next. We again pick that one and do it again. Ten terabytes. Yes. One, two, three, four. And screen that. And we can close this. So let's uh, just for good manners check out our drives. Go to my computer. And over here we have we have ten terabytes SAS R zero. And we have 10 terabytes SAS R1 and I can see that I I put an underscore on this one and I, I didn't do that up here. Those two drives are on the same hard drives. I want to do the same with the RAID 5 just so that we can see how that looks. I'll just call it rate 5 it might we might get more options than that but just um, let's let's see what it comes up with next next and we'll pick this partition next and yes we get single partition or dual partition this is kind of the same as rate 5 and this one would be rate 6 so we'll just go with the RAID 5, we are only testing here, but you might want to go with RAID 6 if you are uh, using this in production. I am really over provisioning this uh, storage. Well, next, create, and we get to create another volume on top of that. So I got another one. This one is a RAID 5. So uh, we have 30 terabytes of um, storage not available to us, but well, it's it shows up as storage that is here. So I want to do the same ish thing with the with the other drives. But I don't want to film it again. I have created three virtual disks, each on 30 terabytes uh, out of this pool up here of 42.8 terabytes. So I have over provisioned this by over double. Um, I am only testing here. This is too much for production, I would think. Uh, it might be okay for some uses. It might be very bad for other uses. I know that I'm going to be removing this RAID 1 again 
um, because this is only for testing. All the drives are down here and if we go up here to disks we will see the different disks that I have created. I have a lot of disks up here but they don't, they don't show anymore so right now I have a disk 50 and that's uh, 10 terabytes and 51 is another 10 so I have RAID 015 and the same with the other one 30 terabytes RAID 015 I have created this more or less so that I could be doing a little bit of testing I hope and see how this works it looks very promising actually so if we go out here and looks into this uh, computer manager we'll see that right now I only have a C drive and a system re something reserved I have no idea why it says that but down here I have my different disks and they are basic disks I would actually have thought that they would have showed up up here so I do believe that they're here yeah they're right there we have the different drives here and uh, this uh, CD-ROM drive comes in the middle of everything and breaks it up a bit but we have three disks of 10 terabytes and we have three disks of 30 terabytes so awesome so is this safe to have your data laying around on a Windows server yes it is it's very safe Windows servers have become very stable over the past 10 years ish Server 2003 was the first really good and stable Windows Server version and they have kind of become better since then. Um, it's not secure enough so that you don't need a backup, but we could put Linux on this and you would still need a backup. We could put, we could put anything on this and you would still need a backup. This is just one system, you still need a backup. You might say that RAID 5 is unsecure. Yeah. You can't rely on that, you have to have your backup, and your backup would be the RAID 1. So on top of that RAID 1 that you have between your production and your backup, well you put a RAID 5 on this system, so you don't need your backup as much. If you only have one system and thinks that that's safe and want to trust that, well you should at least go with the two parity security or RAID 1. So yeah, there is that. So, I got all of this working. I did run into some trouble. Um, I have actually replaced four drives in the disks down there. That I did that before I started the video because I could see that Windows was complaining about drives not um, acting as they should. So, I have replaced three. Three of these drives, one of them I replaced twice because the one I put in even though it was a 600 gigabyte drive, it showed up as a two terabyte drive. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, that was probably one of the reasons why this totally fucked up on Exponology for me. Because Exponology did not say that there was anything wrong with the drives. Windows does. So that was that was a plus there um, over the Exponology. So, but um, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.